المعلومات Hello, how are you? I'm good. A bit, uh, a bit busy at the moment, but uh, I'm good. How about you? I'm just back from my first ever six week sabbatical. Like I've never really stopped. And uh, I took an exit from a previous uh, gig after six, six quarters, you know, and um, I've decided to kind of like refocus and do 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 some stuff that i'm still figuring out but so the, I, I just went to the toc meeting and just came back from it um and there's a lot of news there um a, a big topic of discussion was how to do more collaboration with other tags and how to surface the opportunities so they're going to make a kanban board but i had to say there and i, I can say here uh i'm just I, I just logged in yesterday night or last night and this morning for the first time in a month and a half Uh, so, so what did you do? Did you stay, uh, did you go somewhere or you just uh, uh, enjoyed your family and stayed home? Uh, I kind of, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm in the process of moving um, uh, to somewhere that's a little more quiet. Uh, <laughs> and um, I've been learning about autism and ASD, which I, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit autistic. <laughs> um, um, and so, yeah, I, I've been, I've been taking some, Time to focus on capital S self, but now I'm back and I'm kind of exploring some opportunities and, and things. But um, I was I was on the tag meeting last two weeks ago and there was nobody there. So I think I think maybe it's post KubeCon, post conference burnout. But, you know, I was also quite, I think. Um, uh, a little burnt out. Yeah, just kind of uh, working in the wrong role uh, in yeah. a solo role instead of a collaborative role. Yeah, it's the same. After after KubeCon, I was uh, yeah very much busy on uh, a lot of content. I've been watching, any... I've been watching your content, so cool. uh, it's really great to see. Um, and and yeah, I think there's like we talked about. There's a lot a lot of opportunities. We now have enough videos curated to have an actual speaker, you know, expert speaker series. Uh, I, I think I've got nine or ten of them all all, all cataloged. But it, over the last few years, there's a few more to add. But we can start making some noise on YouTube on the content cool. stuff. It reminds me, but how have things been for you? I'm giving people a few minutes to to join. I don't actually have an agenda, um, and I look like it looks like Alalita and others haven't put anything in there for today. So, yeah, there's uh, something that I wanted to work on, but then I've uh, shifted of, of priorities internally, so I I didn't have the time to test it uh, to may may make any uh, suggestions or. Or working documents. I, I really want to tackle this in the future, but uh, yeah, just get more time to uh, to settle down and, and write everything. I want to do this um, observability auditing or observability, you know, um, uh, measuring the how yes. uh, projects. I think it would be useful. I think uh, it would to... be too similar to what we talked about with accessibility um, yeah. when Kara, Kara presented about uh, you know the accessibility working group proposal that's still active. Um, Uh, having a, a badging or some kind of way to declare projects to self-declare like a, a framework, right? To say like I'm level like salsa uh, is to supply chain security, right? Yeah, uh, same thing. Yeah, uh, I think uh, it's really love the idea. and that's yeah. up underline that we can do it in the tag. Yeah, yeah, because sometimes there are projects that, that produce observability data, but it, it's very undocumented or very obscure, or even sometimes uh, the metric itself. Is kind of a very expensive from an end user perspective. So, uh, controlling uh, yeah, a few basic stuff uh, so then end users can ingest the data without, oh, ma uh, yeah, take the observed data pro uh, provided by the, the projects uh, without having to, I don't know, filter, dropping, whatever. Uh, so, yeah, almost I mean, like a self, like you want the metadata. So, so you know, if you're, if you're using, you know, Pi Arrow or, 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 you know, Parquet, right, you know, you've got, You've got all kinds of metadata about the shape of the data, so so the same kind of thing. Uh, you know, yeah. what are the what are the appropriate columns um, uh, for such for such a, a, a metadata table uh, or a, a metadata graph? Really, it's not really a table. Um, But I, yeah, I was thinking of uh, building like a working document. I mean, uh, listing few aspects and then push it on the the repo of Tag Observability, and then figuring out uh, having extra other people suggesting ideas. Mm -hmm. And then we can shape the document from there and then try to find a way of scoring, uh, so having like a maturity scoring or a model, whatever. So we can say, oh, uh, 
Istio is a nine of ten uh, already. Yeah, so we, we we could we had talked in the past, or maybe we didn't. I thought we did about like a maturity model. I yeah. I, I can't shrug away at the term maturity 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 model because it implies a singular path. Right. So, I mean, I, but, but that kind of concept or, or like, you know, you know, or maybe a, a matrix is a better, yeah. you know, but um, I, I love the idea. And I think it's actually, it fills a gap because we're, 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 we're already seeing as we would expect. And as we've been talking about for a while, you know, the, the, you know, the hybridizing, you know, you know, mixing and matching and blendings uh, different signals in different ways at different parts of a, a filter graph pipeline is how I think of it. Um, yeah. Uh, Right. Um, and so there are trade offs there. And I think there's also there's not only an opportunity to kind of provide a framework for that um, to help us, you know, understand the broad exploding number of, um, of tools and services that are based on open source, um, uh, but but also to visualize it and to kind of broaden the tent. Right. Because it is somewhat esoteric and non-technical people who are going to have to sign checks uh, need, need to be um, need, need to have an understanding and comprehension of what it is and, and, and why. Uh, and, and right now, presently that function generally falls to, uh, you know, IT staff, people running observability systems, you know, SRE teams, you know, uh, maybe a dev, maybe a dev tools team or a developer experience team. Like there's some, there's some team in the organization and I, and I ran one. Uh, so maybe I'm projecting my experience, but you know, they're often the least resourced, uh, you know, or the least, you know, the, their competencies is not necessarily explaining why all this costs so much or what function or what business value uh, it, you know, it provides to that, that, that would, that would substantiate the cost to, 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 to their, to their folks who are not technical. And so, so that final mile um, for a lot of organizations is either limiting or, or, you know, you, you end up with all kinds of like perturbations in the funding of, of projects that, that, that can really destabilize a, 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 a medium to large business. Uh, but for like a, a small startup, that's just really operating the envelope on a shoestring budget um, that can be fatal, right? So, so I think, I think that the the act that the process of doing what what you're suggesting as another additional side effect or maybe a direct effect outcome uh, is maybe to help bridge that gap and give those people something that they can go take to their to their managers. Kind of like for KubeCon, the CNCF has always like had a link like generate an email, you know, generate a letter to my manager about why I should go to KubeCon. You know, help me make this easy. Um, I think we have the same opportunity there for sure. Yeah, and also it could be also a way of uh, somehow um, pointing out to projects uh, that are building uh, a very good uh, uh, value for the organizations that uh, they should also consider to produce the data that people can understand how this product is behaving or acting or whatever it's doing. So it could be a, a way of uh, helping also uh, other open source project to produce more usable uh, uh telemetry data that we can then uh then uh, then that that our community can use use in general in our in their in their observatory backend so i think that will be yeah. that's useful i'm i'm yeah. exploring the uh, security stuff now and i'm trying also to um to go through each assets and then uh so from a, from a scanning perspective it's quite clear but i'm trying to figure out if i can somehow process and ingest the um you know the the s bomb plus the even the the scvs uh, scv um uh num uh to, to keep track on that and so then we can have like a sort of a flow yeah, from, of from, from the project binaries yeah yeah I, I, absolutely um and i think there's a lot of off-the-shelf stuff in open source um that we can use already to do that there's a bunch of good tools from microsoft and others that yeah. i've used in, in previous lives I could recommend. Um, now that we're at the, the nine, almost 10 minute mark, I think no one else is gonna come. Uh, I need to formally open the meeting just to make this official, so. Okay. Uh, but, <laughs> okay here we go. Uh, okay, welcome one. Uh, I would say welcome all. Welcome one <laughs> and all in the future, <laughs> seeing this recording in the future. Uh, this is uh, uh, May the 7th, uh, the first Tuesday of of the month at our normally scheduled meeting of the technical advisory group uh, for observability. Uh, 
this is a CNCF sponsored event. So the code of conduct does apply. Please don't do or say anything in the chat uh, or video uh, that would be in violation of that code. Uh, and with that, the meeting's open. Uh, so, so welcome, Henry. <laughs> uh, I don't have much uh, topics to be honest. Um, <laughs> yeah. um, so I do have one. So I had spoken with Alalita um, almost a month ago now um, and pitched the idea, which she which she was supportive of, of having a meeting uh, for the tag that's not like the tag meeting, but is a more um, focused meeting uh, around w walking a board of like help wanted issues. And, you know, there are people, I think, who, who do want to engage, um, but we kind of need like a cadenced, you know, I'm suggesting twice a month um, on the off weeks maybe at what time, whatever time works uh, for people. But, you know, uh, we're even you like, I, I've got some time on my hands now. And so I'm, I'm doing a bunch of stuff with that, um, with the landscape graph, for example, I've got the initial implementations of the subgraph modules for the history of uh, GitHub and, and Git as well, uh, in a, in a way that's implemented that surfaces them as that, 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 that has them in sort of a graph shape you know um uh using some some modern data stack stuff uh or so so there's work related to the tag right where we can now say okay for the observability domain for all of the observability projects here is some metrics and information about them uh and what you're suggesting around like here's the sbomb stuff that's actually an unimplemented as of yet but defined sgm or subgraph module right um that can be plugged into that and there's already a waiting place for it in a repo in CNCF slash landscape graph. Um, and so like for, for a, a focused dev meeting where we just kind of just talk about, you know, what's current active dev uh, that people can join with uh, and we can get a cadence kind of thing. And it can, it can be just, you know, even if it's just, uh, it'll certainly be me talking to a camera, but whoever else shows up, I think once there's that kind of reliable cadenced dev focused meeting, and less of like an open source tag general meeting with presentations and this and that. Um, I think there's a lot of people who, who who know how to engage and that's their bread and butter, right? Engineers um, who, who might come to that and, and we have lots of help wanted issues and people are free to make new ones. So I feel like something to catalyze that and, and get people, just give them a place to engage. Um, that's that's again, like on a, on a twice monthly cadence. Um, and we just run like a dev scrum stand up, right? Um, that that might really be useful. Uh, but but yeah, so that, that's what I pitched to Alalita, and she said, "Great." Uh, so you know, I'm going to propose that we start doing that next week. Um, and, and then from from uh, from the uh, the toolings, because there are a few solutions that I present sometimes in Tag Observability. Mm -hmm. I was thinking that the format as of now is like a Zoom meeting that we're recording. Um, I have a subscription. I need to check if I have uh, can add another channel, but we can instead of doing doing this YouTube, uh, this uh, Zoom recording meetings, uh, we can use like a restream where we have the guests and and then we do like a he presents and then we uh, we like could uh, sorry like an interview yeah like an interview or he he do he's doing a demo and then we have few uh, few core few core uh, members of the tag who could be like a, a panel discussions and at the end. Uh, because it's going to be a uh, uh, broadcast uh, streamed sorry by in uh, several platform people can join and just randomly drop their questions and we it. can cover and i think it, it will be just um, it will modernize the um, the way we're delivering those type of uh, meetings uh, product related meetings i would say um, so it could be a way of changing uh, the, the actual yes. dynamics Yes, and so um, so the say so so I I completely agree, and uh, the data model for the landscape graph. I know I'm banging a drum, but there's another subgraph module already defined. That's the history of YouTube. That one's actually pretty easy because there's already uh, there's already a lot of libraries and APIs to interact with YouTube metadata uh, and channel metadata. Uh, but that's sitting there waiting as the you know any like you could do it, I could do it now. Now that we're adding more of these subgraph modules in a pluggable way. Um, you know the art the at the, the post post stream you know being being able to link that presentation to the project metadata and the you know the slide something something not in a google doc but in an actual graph um yeah. 
you know, that lets us then do all kinds of analytics. Like, for example, I've got uh, from Cody um, at the CNCF uh, just a, a week or two ago, um, the, uh, the, the the giant tabular dub of all of the KubeCon talks um, um, that just happened in Paris uh, with metadata about them. Right, as well as the full text descriptions and the speaker bios, which we can also mine the metadata for. All of the cool. YouTube, all of the YouTube videos have generally uh, closed captioning that just automatically because we have Zoom works, you know, for the entire CNCF. So all of that test that that corpus of text, you know, that the union, the sum total of all of the transcripts from all of the meetings and presentations. Uh, you know, then can be pulled into that same graph. So now we can really do all kinds of not only analytics, but that can actually graph frag. Uh, you, know, you can do like retrieval augmented generation, but using uh, a graph that that doesn't just do chunking and hope to get lucky, but actually has semantic meaning imbued in the graph, right? So that's now all in scope. So in addition to us helping us like generate um either emails or or website blasts or notifications to, to LinkedIn or, or Twitter or whatever, um, you know, about current things, but also like making it a discoverable catalog of the last four years. Um, what I had said in the TOC meeting is we have over 400 recordings uh, on Zoom uh, and in YouTube rather um, alone. Like, and there's many that we haven't even published because they were taken way back when well, it's still the case that I'm manually uploading them. So there's automation there. Uh, but but we have this huge corpus of video as well that links to these projects. And one of the things we talked about at the Technical Oversight Committee meeting last hour uh, was how can tag uh, technical leadership, you know, the folk, folks that are engaged with uh, evaluating sandbox projects and commenting on incubation proposals and things like that. You know, the technical, the TOC wants more tag engagement. And so we were talking about how do we best facilitate that dialogue you know tag observability even st started originally doing that function right and so um you know this is a huge amount of opportunity there that's all kind of all, all of these things are moving in the same direction um uh, but and, if so, you want to do like a live stream something uh, just to make the so uh, let me check uh, i don't know yeah, if you back a, to live, live stream. I, I was talking about what we do with the stuff after but um my point was yeah, but, into the existing data model um, so I, I was thinking we, we could blogs. we should cr we should create a LinkedIn page because uh, um, from from my discoveries like Twitter is there but uh, the interaction on Twitter is is I mean X sorry is m mm. more less and less uh, declining. Yeah. So I was thinking more of creating a dedicated LinkedIn page for tech observability and then push any communication there. That's uh, a so great idea. Uh, make an on the tag and also, Yeah. yeah and then also because we have the logo, we have everything, so we already have the branding. And then we could also figure out like a small intro, just to make it like a sh like a, we are sharing news. Because for example, uh, I know that um, in the Open Turing project, there are a few people working on uh, experiments to uh, trace uh, anything goes going going through the collector. I mean, mm -hmm. it, for the moment, it's like more like a like a sandbox, a small experimental approach. I, I mean, I would love to to have someone showing it and showing the results i know that we used to do that we would we do that sometimes on on those meetings but having a more like a um i don't know um a broader um uh, delivery of the content so everyone can can have access to the information yes uh, will be much more uh be um, better communication better i don't know a uh, way of sharing things i think it's a great idea i mean Alolita and and I have both, and I know you as well on on LinkedIn. You know, shared things, but that's been ad hoc. And when I've had resourcing and time, uh, you know, uh, I've I've kind of I've I've tried to have you know descriptive email blasts, but again, to make it like a manual ad hoc thing, uh, when it could be much more streamlined, much more consistent, uh, and and just all around better. Um, uh, is awesome not just for us but we can then take that back to the tag to the other tags and and that's the kind of thing we're talking about mm -hmm. um and say hey this is what's worked for us you can do the same thing and then our graph grows now it's not just the observability domain but we now have you know and, and, and in addition there's been a bunch of work uh, on the landscape two project which is sort of um an expansion of the landscape the cncf landscape uh original project the the very dated one 
Um, and they're basically adding more metadata via YAML, but it's the same fundamental approach, right? And so, but, but, and it's great. The vision, it's got a much more modern and reactive website. Um, that's a big catalog. Um, uh, and, and that's all, all great. That gives us even more metadata as well, uh, that we can bring in, into this, um, uh, and then lastly, I would love if if some of those another major opportunity we, that the tag has in terms of lots of people would want to engage with it if it were kind of set up the same way with streams and broad distribution and just a way to get the word out um, uh, is around the observation of uh, LLMs uh, and AI as a workload generally, like you saw all the interest from KubeCon around workload scheduling and additional resource types for quotas and limits and things like that, um, ab above and beyond just simply memory and, and, and millicores, you know, but actual GPU resources, for example. So mm -hmm. everything from Kubernetes internals all the way out to the observability side of things, um, I think there's broad interest and a, un, and, a, and a technical need to do something similar, maybe, like how do we understand it? So some of the same approaches we might use for understanding what these signal types are, I think if they're done right, they work as well for this other stuff. And so, yeah. for example, like open LLMetry, for example, you know, we said, hey, you should you should engage with existing projects and 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 tag and OTEL. We can help broker that in in the same framework because it gives them something. Hey, here's you know, come here and you get this broad distribution, right? That's always been at least for tag observability because we haven't been hugely resourced. Like not a lot of people. You're you're one of the you, as you know, you, <laughs> um, you know, uh, it's been the platform that's been part of the draw for why I engage in the first place. Like, mm -hmm. I, I would like to shift that over time to have a bunch of technical leads that are like, you know, actively engaged because now the TOC is actually asking for it, um, uh, and and providing ways to 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 actually collaborate with other tags on evaluating those projects because many of them have cross. Kind of so I have a, maybe a, a dummy questions, but how how what is the process to become a technical lead? That's one one question, and the other one is if we want to do like those communications, I guess there is some way of be approved. Uh, who who would do it? Uh, who is approving I, the fact that we want to, for example, do like a change of way of communicating? Yep. Um, uh, those type, those are things that are are big question marks in my in in my head. Um, yeah, let me, I, th th this is one case where actually, um, if you give me just a second, I'm pulling up the exact answer to your question. Uh, both the TOC and the TAG um, uh, have a well-defined process for this. And I'm just going to um, go there now. Um, uh, one moment. I'm going to put a link in chat, but it's the TOC's repo under TAGs, uh, CNCF TAGs, and then under the... Of this okay here we go um here we go uh tag formation leadership okay so here is i'm dropping in the chat uh, that's right yeah because the moment is how we communicate it's mainly a cncf yeah and... but to answer your question about um um about you know how how leads are done um, it's pretty lightweight, <laughs> but there's the opera. It's under the tag operating model as defined by the CNCF. Um, and then now they, they've recently beefed it up, you know, and we've been active in this conversation over to, over the last year uh, to, to, to have more, you know, a more prescriptive set of expectations, but this is all fairly new. Um, so there is a, an election under that. Uh, there's a subheading for elections. Uh, and governance. Um, I and see that, yeah. So retirement. Um, uh, oh, that's the same. Uh, there, there's, we're not the only, you know, we need more active co-chairs. I'll say that. Um, and so, you know, how to, how to do that um, is, is also defined there. Responsibilities, expectations. Where to go? Ah, here it is, elections. Um, so tech leads are assigned following a two-thirds majority vote of the TOC and a two-thirds majority vote of tag chairs. Um, since we only have two chairs, uh, not three, we need a third chair. If you know anyone um, or anyone seeing this video, um, 
uh, please inquire. Uh, uh, but that's how it here, here. I'm putting the second link in the in the chat now. So pretty lightweight. Um, tags are also free to make new roles um, as defined by themselves. Like we can make somebody the czar of whatever, <laughs> right? Um, uh, but generally it's just been working groups and we followed the operating model as defined. And you know, we, we haven't taken the option that is defined there to make like tag scribe or something <laughs> like that because it hasn't come up. But, but yeah. Okay. I will go through that. that... Yeah, and um, I think I've already made you a contributor on the tag repo, so you should be able to like do all things. Um, but let me let me let me double check that. Um, uh, I'm happy to chat more about some of the other stuff, but I, in terms of what's relevant for the actual tag meeting, I'm not sure I have more business. Um, again, um, it's just you and me. It seems this week. Uh, so, is there more things on the tag side you'd like to chat about? Uh, before uh, no, not specifically recording. but i would like to follow up on some of the other stuff directly yeah yeah let's do that agree okay well with that i guess i will formally close uh this this week <laughs> this uh the, on this tuesday may 7th uh thanks everybody uh and every person uh for <laughs> or thanks person for for coming <laughs> Uh, <laughs> and showing up this week. Uh, so we'll see you all in two weeks on the third Tuesday. Same bat time, same bat channel. Uh, right. right. See you. See you.